What's going on, y'all? Ray here with Second Chance Rising, where it's more than just the music, but the ministry as well. And this week's question is, is when things repeatedly begin to happen in your life, do you think it's just a coincidence, or do you think it's the hand of God trying to direct and guide you? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We're going to dig into that in just a couple seconds. Shortly after I was diagnosed with cancer and I was being in going through my treatment plan and I got back into church realizing that I needed Jesus to fight this battle. And as soon as, you know, the pastor that had knew me from just because we live in a small town said, Ray, I know you play the guitar and I hear that you sing. You should be using your talents. I would love for you to do a special one day, one Sunday. Well, at that time, I had such a long season outside of the church that I wasn't even really even familiar with Blessed Assurance or How Great Thou Are or some of the staples that we all know and love. Um, so I just dismissed that. You know, a few weeks later, he gave a sermon on using your talents. And of course, I thought that he was directing that directly at me. And I really didn't think much of that being a coincidence or the Lord even speaking to me. But uh, it was weighing on my heart. I had a devotional book at the time that I was reading. It was Your Journey Through Cancer with God. And lo and behold, I opened that up. And the devotion for that particular day, just a few days after that, was, you guessed it, using your talents to serve the Lord. Uh, it was a few weeks after that in June, I went to Fountain Campground. It was a revival meeting that they have all week long. And I wish I knew the name of the preacher, but the preacher was speaking on, you guessed it, on talents. And he said, if you were a Christian and you weren't using your talents to serve the Lord, that you needed to check up from the neck up. I never heard that before, but I remember that clearly. You know, he had said things, you know, if you're good with children, you should be working in the church nursery. If you're good with landscaping, you run a landscaping business, you should be helping the church out around. You know, if you know how to sing or play an instrument, you should be on the worship team. And I was like, whoa, you're getting in my business now, preacher. You know, but it was speaking to me. You know, a few weeks later, a uh, Sunday school lesson, you know, in the Sunday school book uh, comes around. Here it is again, using your talents for the Lord. Now, some people may roll their eyes and think that's just a coincidence. That's a lot of coincidences. I took that as the Lord speaking to me. It wasn't too long after that I'd finally heard a band that kind of resonated, resonated with me, which was Third Day. It was kind of country, southern rock, kind of my style. And I said, you know, maybe I can, maybe I can uh, serve the Lord. Maybe I can sing a special. And the first special that I'd ever sang in church was a Third Day song. Now, another story I wanted to share with you, I was asked to fill in on the pulpit on a Sunday morning, which I was very honored to do. Uh, so I went ahead and prepared a couple weeks ahead of time, and I chose that I would uh, speak on 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, all scriptures inspired by God. Um, it's based on a, a survey that I'd read uh, by Lifeway Ministries where it said evangelicals, or something like 58% did not believe that the Bible was literally true, uh, all 66 books. So that's what I chose to do. Now, the sermon that I was sitting in the congregation listening to the preacher, well, guess what? That sermon was on, well, it was 2 Timothy chapter 3, uh, verse 16, which was one of the verses that was used that Sunday morning. So I had to make up my mind, did I want to stick with what I had chose the very following Sunday? Or did I need to choose something else, which would have been very easy for me to do, had plenty of time to prepare. I prayed about it, and the Lord said, no. This is what you need to say. Two weeks in a row, the congregation is going to hear this verse. I went in a different direction with it uh, than the previous Sunday. Um, and that's not really where it ends. So I came came back. We have band practice on Sunday afternoons, and uh, the band's practice, and sometimes we lead into Scripture, and I was telling them about how my morning and when and the privilege and honor that I had to, to fill in in the pulpit, and the congregation was appreciative, and they enjoyed it. And I was telling about the experience and what I had uh, spoke on in 2 Timothy chapter 3. And, you know, the next morning, my bass player texts me about uh, 6 in the morning. He says, you're not going to believe what my devotional was on the very next morning when I turned the page. And you guessed it. It was 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. That verse just continues to pop up. Uh, over these last several months here and there. And it's just so relevant, I think, in today's time. And it's so relevant, uh, I think I even did a Wednesday's Word early on about it, uh, just because the Word just seems to be getting so watered down. Uh, people think it's changing with society, but it's not. It's the same yesterday, today, and it'll be the same tomorrow. Uh, so I gotta ask you, do you think those are coincidences? Or do you think those are the hand of God guiding my life? 
confirming what I'm saying, confirming what I'm reading, confirming what the Holy Spirit is telling me. That's what and I'm all I can say is that I experienced, those are just two stories. I experienced this all the time in my life. And it's because I'm in God's Word and I'm, I'm in fellowship and I'm in church and I'm in Bible studies and I'm in devotional books. And the Lord is continually uh, firming up what I'm praying about and what I'm reading about and what I'm studying about. And I can tell you 100%, I dismiss anything that might be called a coincidence. It is definitely, in my life, the hand of God. And if you haven't experienced that yet, you got something to look forward to. If you're a Christian, you got something to look forward to. Get in God's Word. He will begin to speak with you and firm up what the Holy Spirit is telling you inside. You know, if you've watched this long into the video and you're not a Christian and you call this a coincidence, don't go anywhere because the Lord is speaking to you right now. You know, I don't expect you to understand. I expect you to call it a coincidence. You know, if you haven't accepted the Lord Jesus Christ into your life, uh, you, it's imp almost impossible for you to hear him, but he's talking to you now. I'll tell you sometimes when I mention some of these stories in church, I see some people that, you know, I consider Christians and they'll roll their eyes and they'll have a look on their face, an expression on their face that I know they're really not buying what I'm saying because they may not have experienced it either. Because maybe even though they've given their life to the Lord, they're not in God's Word, and they're not in constant fellowship, and they're not in prayer. So the Lord can't speak to them. It's, he's having a hard time reaching them. And listen, I've been there. That's exactly where I've been on a long season of my life. i got a verse that I want to share with you. This is when Jesus is talking to the disciples when he's realized it's getting close to the end, close to that time of his crucifixion. And it's in John chapter 16, verse 13. When the Spirit of truth comes... He will guide you in all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. I hope when, when Jesus is speaking to us, when that Holy Spirit is speaking to us, I hope that we're listening. I hope that we're in tune with him. If these videos are helping you in your walk with God, I hope they are. Consider subscribing, like the video, ring that bell. Most of all, share it with your friends. You know, you never know who needs to hear this, who it's going to touch, whose life is going to draw closer to God or to God altogether. We love you and God bless you and keep looking up and we'll see you next week.